Hello and welcome. If I said that I could show you how to get a 14% improvement in fuel economy and speed in your car, would you be interested? In 1929, this 14% improvement in aircraft performance was demonstrated and rewarded with the Robert J. Collier Trophy. The trophy is an annual aviation award administered by the US National Aeronautic Association. It is presented to those who have made the greatest achievement in aeronautics or astronautics in America. The achievement must have been thoroughly demonstrated by the actual use during the preceding year. Robert J. Collier, publisher of Collier's Weekly Magazine, was an air sports pioneer and president of the Aero Clubs of America. In 1910, he commissioned Baltimore sculptor Ernest Wise Kaiser to make the 238 kilo Aero Club of America trophy. It was first awarded in 1911 to a worthy recipient, Glenn H. Curtis, for his successful development of the hydro aeroplane. In 1922, when the Aero Club dissolved, the award was taken over by the National Aeronautic Association. It was unofficially renamed the Robert J. Collier Trophy, which became official in 1944. The award is presented annually with the trophy on permanent display at the US National Air and Space Museum. Many people have won it a number of times, such as Glenn Curtis, Elmer and Lawrence Sperry, the United States Air Mail Service, and Clarence Kelly Johnson of Skunk Works. A number of awards were given, which, in retrospect, were not deserved because the aircraft did not live up to promise. Remember, the award is for achievement in the preceding year. One example was the award in 2011 to Boeing for the B787 Dreamliner. The, the award that we are speaking about today was the one that went to the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, or NACA, we'll call them NACA, in 1929. Their design of the NACA cowling for radial air-cooled engines was revolutionary. In the 1920s, most propeller-driven aircraft had radial engines. The engine cylinders were mounted in a circular pattern and cooled by air flowing back through the propeller and over the cylinder heads. The problem was the cylinder heads protrude from the aircraft skin and create drag. NACA's idea, which flew in the face of conventional wisdom about proper aircraft design, was to cover up the cylinders. This dramatically reduced aerodynamic drag and improved engine cooling. The product of this startling engineering insight was the NACA's development of a low drag engine cowling. This was the counterintuitive idea. The purpose of the shroud was not in the hiding of an ugly engine, I don't think they are ugly, but they are, but to cool a hot engine. Through the 1920s, the practical solution to the problem of air cooling all engines was to expose red hot engine cylinders to an outside rush of cooling air. Besides improving the cooling of the engine, the NACA cowling, as designed, was a streamlined shroud, also worked to reducing drag. This allowed an airplane to fly faster and further on less fuel. Their tenth design reduced drag by a massive factor of three. A Curtis Hawk AT5A biplane maximum speed increased from 190 km per hour to 220 km per hour. The Hughes H1 Racer, built in 1935 using the NACA cowling, won world speed records. In the years following the Collier Trophy, American aviation journalists generally exaggerated the significance of the cowling. Almost everyone outside the aircraft industry failed to appreciate the true character of the NACA cowling work and credited science rather than engineering as its source. The cowling was not an invention in the classic sense, for different crude cowlings were already available and in limited use around the world nor did they know enough to make clear that every cowling had to be custom fitted. The cowling was not a magical tin shape that could be applied generically to just any airplane, 
because the effectiveness of the cowl depended significantly upon the shape of the airplane behind it. The cowling had to smoothly collect the fuselage so that the air flowing over it was not disrupted. Thank you for watching.